So what is the best lens for Sony cameras this year? In this video, I'm gonna break down three very similar lenses that could potentially end your lens hunt forever, helping you find the best lens for you. Let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, it's Omar Altakori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do YouTube tutorials as well as tech gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. The world of lenses could be quite overwhelming when you first get into cameras or make your first purchase of a camera. One way to bypass all the lens hunting and research is to just get a great all around lens that's very versatile. There probably isn't a more versatile lens than the infamous 24 to 70 2.8. Uh, why do I say this? It's because at 24, you have a nice wide shot. And then at 70, you have a great zoomed or compressed shot. And then of course, everything in between those two focal lengths. Although it's versatile, they usually are pretty pricey. Keep in mind, you don't need every lens the world has to offer. One of my photography students started her business with just a 24 to 70 lens and has done weddings, portraits, events, you name it, she's done those jobs and she's done it with one lens. And so just keep that in mind. Uh, this video is gonna give you a nice breakdown of potentially the lens that you can go with to end your lens hunt forever. I'm pumped for Sony users, including myself, now that there are a few more lenses to choose from, especially when I got into Sony cameras around 2016, uh, there really wasn't many lenses to choose from. And one of those lenses to choose from at that time was the Sony G Master 24 to 70 2.8 lens. Uh, now this lens isn't new. However, it's the only one of its kind since early 2016. I think with a lack of options in 2016, uh, Sony was able to charge premium prices for their lenses. And so the 24 to 70 that was available initially that Sony offered was around $2,200 and it still is at retail. Um, you can obviously get better deals on eBay or offer up or you know used uh, deals. However, when I was looking for a 24 to 70, essentially this was the only one with the native lens mount that I could go with. However, we just got back from WPPI here in Las Vegas and this year Sigma uh, released their own version of their own 24 to 70 2.8 that has everything the G Master has at almost half its price. Everything from the lock feature for when you pack the lens away to the autofocus, manual focus switch, and even the custom button that you can assign a roll to in the menu, the Sigma offers. And at just under $1,100, you're talking almost half the price of what the G Master is, yet having everything the G Master has. So there's little to no difference between the two. I'm pretty confident that this lens will soon take the lead, I think in sales, because I really can't find a valid reason to go with the Sony G Master now, knowing that the Sigma has everything the G Master has. So I'm really pumped about this lens, and if you wanna check out the lens comparisons, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Now before I share the next lens and the cheapest out of the two that I just talked about, I want you to check out our gear guide. Uh, we break down all equipment based on your budget, so whether it's mic, lighting, cameras, uh, lenses, whatever it is, we break it down in our gear guide and you can check that out at thinkgearguide.com. Uh, we'll put a link to it in the description below as well. And so make sure you check that out if you're interested. The last wide angle portrait lens I wanna share is the Tamron 28 to 70 2.8 lens. This lens was released shortly after I purchased my G Master and is priced out of the lowest of the three at around $880. You can get it cheaper now used um, if you look and this isn't the true 24 to 70 focal length, but what it does get you is the same look. It's still a medium field of view at 28 millimeters, but if you zoom in all the way at 75, it still gives you that nice compression look uh, with the super blurry background. And so it's a super great lens that gives you the same look the other two lenses give you. We own this lens at Think Media and we definitely use it a lot. It doesn't have any uh, of the analog features the other lenses have, like I mentioned, the buttons, the switches and stuff like that. Um, however, it doesn't take away from how awesome and reliable this lens is. It's lightest out of the three because it's constructed of plastic. And so if you're looking for something super simple and light, this is the lens you wanna go with. Uh, honestly, if uh, I knew about this lens when I bought the G Master, which it wasn't released yet, I probably would have went with that because you know, at a third of the price point of what the G Master is, 
Uh, it's almost a no-brainer, but now that the Sigma is out, I'm pretty pumped about uh, what that lens can do and how competitive it is to the G Master. But out of the three lenses, the Sony, the Sigma, and the Tamron, which lens would you go for? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, one of these lenses can answer all of your photo or video needs. Doesn't matter which one you would go with because the focal length will is the most versatile focal length in my opinion. And so maybe if you're one who you think will invest in multiple lenses, you know, like maybe you wanna get a variation of prime lenses, uh, to go alongside of this. Maybe the Tamron is the smartest option because you can use that money to buy other lenses. Um, honestly, if the Sigma was available when I purchased the G Master, I, to be completely honest, I'd probably go with the Sigma. I honestly like how it looks. I like that it is a, a tad shorter uh, than the G Master, but more than anything, I love the idea of saving over a thousand bucks. And so I think that's really cool. But more than anything, I really appreciate you checking out this video. And if you wanna see another video from Think Media, just click or tap the screen right here. Peace.